What's up everyone, it's Carlson Gamer here and welcome back. So guys, it's that time again where another huge update has been announced which will be released on Tuesday the 13th of October, which is tomorrow. Although, knowing the Arcadev team, the chances of it coming out on that specific day is very slim. Now I'm going to go straight into the two new main things that everyone's been waiting for. First up is the new King of the Sea, the Mosasaurus. This thing is an absolute beast and will be awesome to tame, but bear in mind it will probably destroy you if it gets one hit on you. Now the Mosasaurus is about five times the size of the Plesio and it's going to be absolutely huge. So if you have any pens with Plesios in them, you're going to need to expand them if you're thinking about taming this thing. It's going to be absolutely awesome. It's going to be like the Sea Bronto. Well, it's basically, yeah, it's going to be a Bronto, but in the sea. And it's going to be absolutely huge. I can't wait to try and get one myself, but the chance of that happening is not very high. I'll probably just get destroyed in the water instantly. Anyway, moving on to the second thing. So, this is probably one of the best things that has ever happened to this game. And that is, it's now finally getting baby dinos. In terms of how this will work, I think you'll probably need to get the eggs of the dino you wish to hatch. And you'll obviously have to hatch it in some way. Um... But we'll know more about this when it's released tomorrow. Okay, so there's a bunch of other bixes on this page, but I'm not going to read them all to you. So you can pause the video here if you wish to see them. Bear in mind, the list isn't finished yet, so this video will not cover everything new in the update, but will cover most things. Now, last week they announced a new dino that will be added in the future, and that is the Procoptodon. I'm just going to read, like, the little paragraph that comes with the domesticated thing of how good it is when well what it get what you gain from it when you've tamed it so the procoptodons procoptodons if that's how you say it dry pouch makes it an excellent beast of a burden that can carry far more than other creatures of its eyes but more importantly Many tribes use it as a two-seater transport by having a secondary rider nest in the pouch. Since this passenger doesn't have to worry about controlling the Procoptodon, the pouch warrior can focus on firing his or her weapons. Now, this is going to be really, really cool. So you could have probably have you and your tribe mate in one of these. So you'd have your tribe mate riding this around, being the main controller of it, having the main attack and being over control of the directions and everywhere it's going and then you can be in its pouch probably shooting a rifle or a crossbow or throwing spears out of or probably even throwing grenades <laughs> this thing's going to be really awesome you probably just jump into someone's base throw a bunch of grenades and then jump out instantly it's going to be really really cool can't wait to see this thing in the game but obviously we're going to have to wait a bit because this has only recently been announced and I doubt it's going to be in anytime soon so guys, that is pretty much it for this video. It's been a very short video, short and sweet video. That's how we like it. Uh, I don't have time to go over everything, otherwise I'll be sitting here for absolutely ages and you'll be bored out your mind. So uh, you could probably go and look up the patch notes yourself if you want to. I will leave a link in the description. Anyway guys, just want to thank you all for watching yet again. I want to thank you all for the support. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all tomorrow in the next video.